As you know, videos and images from the International Space Station show astronauts floating in the air. If you ask anyone the reason for this, the answer you will get will be that they are floating in the air because there is no gravity in space. However, this answer is not entirely correct. In this video, we will explain the exact reason for this. We all know that in videos and images from the International Space Station, astronauts seem to float in the air. If you ask anyone the answer to this question, the answer you will get is, because there is no gravity in space. However, this answer is not entirely correct. In this video, we will explain the exact reason for this. The International Space Station is located about 408 kilometers above the Earth's atmosphere. Gravity decreases as you move away from Earth. Therefore, astronauts on the International Space Station are subject to much less gravitational force than a human being on the surface of the Earth. However, this does not mean that gravity has completely disappeared. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station are under the influence of the Earth's gravitational pull. This force pulls the astronauts towards the Earth. The International Space Station orbits the Earth at a constant speed. This rotation balances the gravitational force that pulls the astronauts towards the Earth. Therefore, the astronauts do not fall towards the Earth and appear to float in the air. In a vacuum, gravity makes all objects fall at the same speed. This is because the acceleration provided by the force of gravity to a falling object is independent of its mass. In the atmosphere, there are two forces acting on a falling object, gravity and air friction. A bowling ball and a feather fall to the ground at different times only because of air friction. However, if there is no air in the atmosphere, they both fall at the same time. So why doesn't the spacecraft fall to Earth? If you throw a ball directly above your head, it will come back to you. But if you throw it forward, it first rises a little bit in a parabola, and then it hits the Earth again at a more advanced point. In fact, sending a shuttle into space is a bit like this. But because the rocket reaches a high speed and distance, it cannot fall back to Earth, even if gravity pulls it downwards continuously. The rocket starts to fall towards the Earth, but because of its high speed, it takes a while for this to happen. By that time, the Earth has moved a little bit, and so the rocket misses the Earth. And if it maintains the same speed, this process continues. The International Space Station moves around the Earth at a speed of about 28,000 kilometers per hour. As a result, it orbits the Earth in a circular orbit, like a ball on a string, following the curvature of the planet. You may have seen objects floating in the air inside the International Space Station. Actually, they are not floating, they are falling. Because they all fall together, the crew and the objects appear to be floating compared to the spacecraft. So even if we leave the Earth's atmosphere, even if we travel deep into space, we are still under the force of gravity. This force pulls us towards a planet, star, or black hole. Astronauts are in spacecraft that are constantly rotating around the Earth. This rotation balances the gravitational force that pulls the astronauts towards the Earth. Therefore, Astronauts appear weightless. Microgravity is a state where gravity is very weak. However, this is not the same as zero gravity. Zero gravity is a state in which gravity completely disappears. This can only happen in a vacuum. What do you think about this? Please share with us in the comments. As we come to the end of this video, we would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you enjoyed the content and information we shared with you. If you did, please click the like button below. Your positive feedback motivates us to create more informative and engaging content. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to make sure you never miss a video. 
By subscribing to our channel, you become an active member of our community. Your participation inspires us to create more content that matches your interests and preferences, so thank you for being part of our community. Hope to see you in our next video. Take care and goodbye.